Ruler School is brought to you by Happy Little Hug Factory and these amazing patrons. Extra special thank you to guest lecturer patrons Brody Harris and Lance Albertson. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. Hey there everyone, this is DMO73 bringing you the deck profile for the New Age uh, New Dawn Time Spinning Witch that you saw me play on Wednesday. This is actually the version... Um, this is actually the version that I played today at States. Uh, I ended up taking third place, although uh, I conceded to my opponent in top four because I, I wouldn't um, need the buy at Nationals. Um, so who knows how, where this deck, if it could have ended up being the champion list. Um, I do think it's very, very strong. Um, my matchups were um, I played against Chimimi, uh, Gil, Kirik, um, Lucifer, and... Uh, and a time spending with Mirror, um, and my only dropped game was a draw to Chimimi. So that kind of tells you a little bit. I think this list has a lot of potential, but it is still kind of a grind, and you got to get used to it. Uh, but I still just wanted to run through my list a little bit here. This is pretty much Ryan Miles' list, but just kind of one card uh, swapped between the main and the side, um, which I'll talk about. Um, so obviously, Time Spending Witch on her front is producing a Time Will every single turn for those Awakenings, um, as well as being able to do double time. It can be used for Activate Effects, which is one of the reasons why we play the Idol and the Statue. <laughs> and then moving into the Stones, we play 4 Magic Stone of Time, because it's the way that we can Judgment Time Spending Witch. 4 Speaker Stone, because we do actually play a good amount of green, and it helps in the mirror to be able to protect ourselves against being Mosasaurus. And then 2 Magic Stone of Chaos, because there are some times where you can tap Banish Produce to... Um, kind of sacrifice the stone to kind of get an, uh, a late game like double Mosasaurus turn off, um, which can be pretty damaging to a lot of decks. Going into the main deck, we play four Lorite because obviously um, we can play green and it's a very important card. Uh, three Lorite, seven Disciples to give us that middle game aggression, especially against um, Kyrick, which is nice. We can remove it and start gaining life back. Three Viola because it helps us to sneak in damage and it can punish... Um, it can actually be used to punish Darkness decks who have things like Glint of Insight because discard can be a little bit devastating or a um, Time Spinning English player who gets a little greedy. Uh, Foes more as a Mosasaurus because we're locking stuff down. And then the swap here is we're playing one Dino Rider mained because this card is actually pretty, can be pretty devastating as a board wipe in game one against Chimimi that also converts into being 14 damage. Um, most often times the dinosaur surfacing, you know, if it's protected, they're thinking, oh, I'm going to get my stones locked or if they're feeling comfortable with the the fact that they're having like three spirit stones up and you're sitting on a dinosaur surfacing you're like well i'm not gonna mosasaurus you anyway so i'll dino rider wipe your board because six damage pretty much kills anything chimimi has um wipes it and then you get to hit them for 14 because of dino rider's trigger which is awesome for dinosaur surfacing to help us be able to play those mosasauruses and dino riders from deck a keys is called two fairer spells to help win out those wars Four Distortion, because obviously we want to lock our opponents out. Four Dragon Surge Breath for some draw power and removal. Three Beyond the Threshold of Time. This card is absolutely insane. Um, I'm very happy with it in this deck. It's very easy to go turn one Idol of Magic into turn two Beyond the Threshold, at which point you're then you're sitting at three stones, especially since this card brings your stone into play recovered. Um, I think that's really relevant. Four Idol of Magic uh, helps us convert Time Spinning Witch Will and also draws us cards. Angel of Statue helps us do that more consistently, getting us a card when it first enters the field. And then once Village of the Spirited Away Koga, which is really excellent to be able to like bounce Dino Rider multiple times, save a Lorite, save a Lorite, Stab and Disciples, Flicker Mosasaurus over and over and over and over again and lock out the game. Um, one major, the sideboard, I'm not really going to talk about it too much, but I did want to talk about in one in particular kind of play is if you're not playing against a Chimimi or if you're playing against a heavy discard deck, uh, even against Gil, um, it ended up winning me my match against Gil today. Uh, we pull out the Dino Rider and we bring in the second Koga. Um, and then we actually bring in um, Rachel. So I'll bring her up real quick. So Rachel, the Ancient Library Researcher. Um, against discard decks especially, this card is... If you can stick Koga plus this, it's pretty much the end of the game at that point. Um, because you can always just keep flickering the Rachel over and over again and sculpting your own hand. While when she enters the feet... Because every time she gets removed, you get to search for whatever card you want. And then when she gets into play, you um, can pick their top three cards and sculpt it. So whatever card they're going to draw is just bad. Um, at that point in time, you can just mill them out for the rest of the game, and that's actually what I ended up doing in my match. Um, it also is really helpful against Gil, because if you can stick the Kogas, especially if you can stick two Kogas and a Rachel against Gil, you're essentially just using Koga and Rachel and Time Spinning Witch to do what Gil does, but better 
and cheaper and more consistently. Um, Guild can only search for spells. With Rachel, you can flicker it off the field and search for anything um, at instant speed during both player's turns, which is really awesome um, and gives you a lot of ways to kind of like curve out against Gil, especially if you've locked them down for a couple of turns. Um, sticking a rate, like if you can successfully stick a couple locks and then play Koga Rachel against a Gil, um, it puts you a really, really far ahead. Um, so I really actually like that um, kind of combination there too. But that is it for the list. Um, I talked a lot with Ryan Miles, like kind of working into this and kind of we t decided together about the Dino Rider uh, Koga play. And I think that was pretty solid if you expect a lot of Chimimi in your meta. Otherwise, you can just play the two spirited away Koga in the main. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the list. Hope you guys had a good time at your states. And until next time, this is DMO73 signing off.